there's a number on you. Didn't Please. You? I'm resting. The bird says nothing, trying to rest. The bird says nothing. Only the sound of its labored breath fills the silence. I see you. Just give me a moment. This medicatrix. There. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now, what was it you needed? I do what I can. For most folks, that's enough. Come here. Let's have a look at you. You seem healthy enough. A bit tired around the eyes, maybe. A tadpole? A mind flare tadpole? That's a serious condition. Come, follow me. I might be able to help. We need to be quick. The bird's eyes are glassy. It's breathing weak. Your chest tightens. Your fingertips shake. Head on in. Let's go. The workshop's this way. Something in that vessel. Take a. This one had the same problem as you. Attacked us in the woods together with some goblins. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. Rather too common as of late. At least that's what Master Halson suspected. I pity you got me instead of him. He understands these things. Studied them. Still, we have options. You don't have to be here for this. I'd like to stay, if it's all the same. All right. Let's see what we can do. She shifts uneasily. Hesitating. Something's off. It might. But first things first. Tell me about your symptoms. Have you noticed anything strange happening? I'm telling you everything you need to know. Believe me on that. I want to help you. But I can't unless you work with me. So... Has anything unusual happened to you? Victims can identify each other. Not that the others know they're victims, of course. How do you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. A mind flare ship? But Master Halson was sure. Look, you've been straight with me, so I'll be straight with you. You're dangerous. If you transform here, we're all dead. But you seem like a good soul. You deserve a chance to save yourself. This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me, you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. The thorn? Coated in a fatal toxin. It was a last resort, in case I couldn't trust you. I don't have a cure. Only a way out. I'm sorry for misleading you, but I had to be sure you weren't a threat before I told you everything. Now, do I have your word or not?
swear it. I hope it doesn't come to that, but thank you. Here. You know, I've spent my life treating folk and never once saw a mind flare infection. Then suddenly, there's dozens of you. Maybe more. Master Halson and I were tracking them, studying them, trying to figure out what the hell was going on. Because you should all be changing. There should be a small army of mind flayers out there. But you're not. Weird powers aside, you seem perfectly normal. For one, that thing in your head is like nothing we've ever seen from mind flayers. It's one of their worms for sure. But this one gives you powers. Telepathic connections. And it doesn't turn you into one of them. Not yet, anyhow. Hard to say, but there's a lot we don't know. Infected, folks like you, have been converging on an old temple of Saluna. And I've no idea why. When Master Halson heard the adventurers were heading that way, he saw a chance to get answers. Joined on the spot. Whatever he found there, he didn't make it back. I've sent birds to find him. But the place is rotten with goblins. And if my birds can't get close, what chance do I have? You, though, you're one of them. Technically speaking, I mean. They won't kill someone carrying their parasite. If you can find Halson and get him out of there, we can discover what he learned. And perhaps he can save your life. How's that sound? I can't make any promises. This is like nothing we've seen before. But I know this for sure. Master Halson is the only one close to understanding these things. He's your best bet to survive. Otherwise, that vile's your only option. Thank you. It would mean everything to the growing. To me. I wish I could tell you what happened out there. But those adventurers were the only witnesses, and they're long gone. All I can say for sure is they all went to the old temple of Saluna, and Master Halson didn't make it back. Good luck out there, and if things start to go bad, remember the vial. Remember your oath. One step at a time, Nettie. Come on. Why then, Jason? Never tried it, and I hope to keep it that way. Time to press ahead. That's curious. Come on, open up. I 
can't even see a lock to pick. Make it stop! Can't you hear it? Her singing. It's awful. Terrible. We can't. Our brains are melting. Karina, drag me away. The big one is right. We should go. Before it's too late. With my last strength, I will save us both. Away! Away! Dance upon the stars tonight. Smile and pain will fade away. Words of mine will change. No. It sounded like a cat being strangled. God damn it! Uh, I thought they were cheering me on. Uh, even animals think I'm terrible. I want to finish this song, but I can't... Nothing fits, you know? True. And when you finally perfect a song, there's nothing like it. But when you're stuck, and it's just getting worse... Ugh. Mm. It can't hurt. I have her... I have an extra loot. If you want. My teacher, Lihala. She loved dancing. Her two left feet mind. I remember waking up one night on the road and seeing her. Dancing beneath the stars. A huge smile on her face. Thinking of it now, my heart hurts. And my words just seem to crumble. Like ash. Wait. Words of mine will turn to ash. That's perfect. That... That it's okay. That I'll be okay. And thank you... for everything. Moon... Moon reminds me of your grace, all the love I can't repay. Wait.
Sorry. <laughs> She'd have said the same thing. That's the first time I've played since Lihala died. My teacher. She was playing her lute. We didn't hear the gnolls coming. There was so much blood. Uh, I can still smell it. <laughs> She'd yell at me for that clunky verse. And make me play till my fingers were raw. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Finish the Weeping Dawn. For her. I have a long way to go. But thank you. Uh, I needed this. Too sweet. Odiously sweet. The vomitous gall within despairs at your kindness. Lost in thought. Nothing hurts anymore. I need a quick word. It's still rough, but my song is getting there. At the ready. Someone singing? It's beautiful. Hmm. What's that? Listen. Your favorite drownings all take place in shallow water. Just a slice of the ankle tendons. 
A sweet melody plays above the waves, beckoning you, drowning out all logical thought. The suffocating yearning suddenly fades as the spell breaks. You are free. No, no. It's just a bit of water. I only want to listen. Just a little closer. Yes, everything's gonna be fine once I get there. Feel my mistress's wrath. Mm. Favorite drownings will take place in shallow water. Don't you hear it? It's so peaceful. No, no, it. Yes, ev You need patching up. Take you.
Seems like a good moment to talk. It's quite a sight. The stars, I mean. I could take or leave your chin. I am. I've been thinking. Reflecting on what tomorrow might bring. When we find the druid. Will he know how to bring the worm under control? Will this little adventure of ours be over? Why not? You've been to the hells and back. Survived the crash. Survived everything that's followed. I'm not easily impressed by people, but you're stronger than I gave you credit for. Yes, we're more similar than I thought. Um, I was leagues away. I just need to get some air, clear my head. I'll see you later, I'm sure. Sleep tight. A fine evening, don't you think? The moonlight shines warmly on us. The breeze caresses our faces. Hideous. All of it. Would that I were doing battle up there, among the tears. I see naught but cowards cowering in their groves and grottos. Flowering meadows and fecund soil have softened their minds and muscles. They rely on strangers' swords when they should be forging their own. Yes. Rocky bodies named after a false goddess. Look above. Watch the moon cross the sky. The tears follow behind it. Rocky bodies tumbling through the sea of night. One of them is my crash. Clear. Only. My entire clutch battled beholders within the eye of the sky's tunnels. We infiltrated a Neogi spelljammer and laid waste to its crew. The tears span Toril's sky. There is more to the realm than this grassy pebble, Ken. But enough of this. You are wasting your resting time. Come dawn, we resume our search for a crash. Yes, Kin. Speak. Tingle runs through your head and down to your feet. Ah, there it is. That shiver. Our little brainworms have made fast friends, it would seem. How do you feel? <laughs> Surprising is just the word, isn't it? Before the Elithid's unscheduled surgery, I'd felled hundreds of beasts and a fair few fiends. The tadpoles weakened me. 
suppressed greater talents, but beyond that, have showed no signs of turning. No nausea, no pain, not even a hot flash. Indeed, perhaps the worm's vat was poisoned. Perhaps we're uncommonly fit. Or perhaps the tadpoles are merely on holiday. We could conjecture all night. I suppose the why doesn't matter so much as the what next. And that answer is plain as the horns on a war devil's head. We get these things out. Let's get some rest. Dawn comes sooner than we think. What's on your mind? Think of it as... tribute. The kind a king might pay to a more powerful neighbor to avoid invasion. As long as I pay, there will be peace. But should I ever stop, along comes a war. I can assure you, the battlefield would extend well beyond the borders of my body alone. Your enterprising approach to my problem is most encouraging. But it is a delicate process to keep my condition stable. I do not yet need to consume an item, but keep it close by. It will not be too much longer. The leader of the pack comes to chat. What's on your mind? You must be pleased to have a clear path forward. The sooner we find the druid house in, the better. I can't wait to get rid of this thing in my head. The same. These parasites are proving suspiciously benign. But suppose I turn. What would you do? Really? I'd just kill you. Anyway, get some rest. Try not to dream about tying me up. Here we go. Favorite drownings will take place in shallow water, just a slice of the ankle tendons. A sweet melody plays above the waves, beckoning you, drowning out all logical thought. yearning suddenly fades as the spell breaks. You are free. No, no. It's just a bit of water. I only want to listen. Just a little closer. Yes, everything's gonna be fine. Once I get there. What 
now. Damn monster. I'll make you pay. A rough tempest I will raise. Two steps at a time. I won't give in. See their chances. Stand in my way. Philip, well, I see you now for what you are. A tale for the ages. See what we have here.
corpse remains silent. These boots have seen everything. Something's on my mind. Please. Your favorite drownings will take. Don't you hear it? it no, no. Yes. I'll make you pay. Wonder if the gods are watching me. What now? Damned monster. I'll make you pay. something useful.
now. Time to meet your maker. They're dying for me. All of them. <laughs> No. Yes. I mean, I don't know. Th that's what the voice said. I almost got to the nest, but the singing. I need to get back. Mole will be so mad. <sighs> Wait, um, you should meet Mole. She'll be grateful you helped me. Find a boy called Donny. Tell him you want to see the dragon's lair. That scamp reminds me of myself when I was a nipper. Always getting into trouble. Comes with the territory. One time, my parents denied me a kitten, so I summoned myself a tressim. Ugh, dear old Tara. Beautiful creature. Benefits of a wizard's education, you see. Of course, my considerable talent didn't hurt either. Well... That depends on who you ask, I suppose. I may have summoned things rather more exotic than a winged cat. And I can pass water without thinking, but that hardly makes it magic. Anyway, I'm glad we got that boy out of his predicament. Poor lad would have been harpy feed if it wasn't for you. Something the matter. Fine. What's on your mind? You saved my life aboard the Nautiloid. I'd never have expected that from a gith. And since then, you've seemed reliable. Maybe I'll have to reevaluate what I think I know about your kind. Should mind my step. hiding here. Let's see what those harpies were hoarding. Should speak up. Well met.
was a time I tussled with hill giants without breaking a sweat. Now, a mere werebear could swat me halfway to arm. Strange things are happening to us. Festers in our minds may well impel our bodies. I wondered what people will say, Will, when they find out the monster hunter is becoming a monster. I've faced countless perils and conquered them all. This will be no different. I've always had a soft spot for the confident ones. They always disappoint, though. You ever scare me like that again, and I'll feed you to a knoll! Mom, I'm fine. Stop it. Our little hellion told us what happened. Thank you. Don't know what we'd do without her. Yeah. I mean... Thank you... ...for helping me. He nods, then reaches for a concealed hatch. Well, look who's come to visit. My kids say you've been busy since you got here. Mercon says you got him out of a tight spot with some harpies. Gotta say, I'm impressed. You saved Arabella from the druids. Don't know what those bastards would have done. And we're happy to be helped. Now, what can I do for you? My faith protects me. Where am I needed? 
Anything else? Making sure we're ready to leave when the time comes. You've been a friend to us. Come back anytime. Shame the goblins didn't kill me, too. You're the one who helped at the gate. Glad to have another sword. We might need it. I heard what happened. Thank you for protecting the child. If the druids are this far gone, then it's not just goblins we have to fear. So we can risk violence here, or face it for certain on the road. Quite the choice, isn't it? You saw what they were willing to do to a child just for trying. It's Corga's influence. Without her twisting things, I believe the druids might see sense. A low thought, but I'd be lying if I said I hadn't considered it. But the druids would slaughter us. We'd have to get close to Corga, within striking distance. I can't manage that. But they've already let you pass once. It doesn't sit well with me, either. But to get these people to safety, there's nothing I won't do. You'd be well rewarded for the risk. But if that won't sway you, there's nothing more to discuss. No, sir. But if there's a clear path past those goblins, <clears throat> they'll find it. Yes. 